Okay, so here I've got the Phoenix PD36 uh, Pro, and it is a really nice flashlight. The great thing about it is that it has the same diameter tubing all the way to the head. So if you're thinking of pocketing a light, a light that is just easy to carry and still throws a decent distance, I mean, this is a fantastic flashlight. Okay, just show you it on the other modes, one, two, three, four, so that's the fourth mode before highest, five, one, two, three, four, and even in the fourth mode, you know, decent-ish throw, and you've got a lot of spill as well, perfect beam, I mean, for, considering it's got a smooth reflector, Phoenix have really done a great job at making sure that beam is free of artifacts. Okay, I'm gonna bring out the Phoenix TK20R version two on the left, and on the right I've got the PD36R Pro. Okay, and you can see the TK20R throws a good distance further. Okay, it's not a huge amount, but that larger reflector, it makes a difference, that's for sure. Let's put it on tap mode. Okay. okay. TK20. PD36R Pro. Okay, and um, one thing I'm noticing is that the TK20 is taking a little bit longer to ramp down. The PD36R Pro really just ramps down a lot faster. It's, there's just not enough heat sinking in the head to sustain the output for significant, you know, long, long period of time. But I mean, you can even see the TK20 is also starting to ramp down a little bit. Okay. Okay, now to bring out the Nightcore P23i. And I'll have that on the right, and I'll have the TK20 V2 on the left. Okay, so that's the Nightcore P23i, and that's the Phoenix TK20 uh, and um, yeah the Nightcore is throwing a bit further but in person there's not a huge difference when I compare them uh, on a practical sort of level there's not a huge yeah not not really much of a difference they have very similar beams like it's almost difficult to tell them apart. That's the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix T K20 uh, version two, and the Micro P23i. So, just wanting to wait for a moment and see how it goes. Whether as they start ramping down and show some different behaviour. Um, the P23i is definitely ramping down. It's not as bright as it used to be. In fact, it's starting to approximate the... Yeah, but look at that. It's still brighter. It's still brighter for sure. And, I mean, Nightcore do push their lights a bit harder than Phoenix. Take a more conservative approach. but you're probably going to get better runtime and better reliability out of the Phoenix. Okay, the one thing I've noticed is the P23i is significantly hotter than the Phoenix on the, on the left. It's like it's quite a lot hotter in the head. So they definitely they're driving the LED harder.
but it is, yeah it is producing sustained output sustained performance okay finally we're gonna bring out the big guns the Olight Warrior X3 and compare that to the Nikkor P23i seems like a a good comparison considering that the night course throws the furthest out of the three other lights, uh, two other lights before. So night core P23i on the left and on the right we've got the Olight Warrior X3 and really the Warrior X3 is outshining it by a good distance. I mean it's got a bigger reflector. But let's see how it performs over a little bit of time. Worry X3 also has a smaller hotspot as you can tell here on the right. It's got a smaller hotspot. It's more concentrated than the Nightcore. Um, Nightcore is hotter, feels a lot hotter as well. Um, it's got a smaller body so it's not but as much heat sinking as the Olight and I think Olight also they could you know they, they could um, sustain the lumens a bit more the head doesn't get all that hot but they've chosen a little more conservative path and uh, you know the Olight is still going strong P23i ramping down a fair bit so you can see um, the Olight Warrior X3 is doing much better in terms of throw at the moment. Okay, just using that tree there in the center as a reference. Start to feel the heat creeping down the barrel for the P23i. Okay. really hot that P23i is uncomfortably hot down the front near the head okay the Warrior X3 is starting to ramp down and I'd say they are yeah they're almost on par now um, yet the Warrior X3 is still out throwing it by a little though but this is both of them step down and still respectfully bright but they need to step down especially this P23i it's just too hot much better now actually let's turn them off and let's see what we can do okay and that's the turbo again um, activated and now you see the P23i is actually winning out because the Warrior X3 needs a bit of time to recover, to reactivate. Uh, but the X3 is, it, it doesn't even feel warm really, it's slightly warm up the top of the head. Um, oh, there we go, it's reactivated its turbo. So, yeah, you do have to wait for the light to cool down. It will not automatically activate the turbo, but yeah, this um, P23i is, it's just it's getting uncomfortably hot near the head. I need to just change my grip, my grip on it. Um, down the front of the battery tube. Yeah. And that's also really impressive on Nightcore's as well, because it's, if you really need to run it like that, it's able to perform. But that extra heat, is it something that you can deal with? And of course you can just ramp the light down yourself, step it down into another mode.